What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, we have an exciting unboxing to dig into for you. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I'd love to have you here. And before you head out, do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it, everyone. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. And feel free to let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. So huge shout out to Allottens for sending this in to us to check out uh, the last couple of Allottens that we, we had on the channel were spectacular. We had a crossbar and a button style lock and they were both extremely solid, very well done, especially given the price point. This is going to be the GO47. They stick with a number sequence for their knives. New packaging from what I can tell, we have a two stage box, microfiber cloth and paperwork along with the knife here in our plastic baggie. Let's clear that out of the way. So I am fully expecting a solid knife uh, out of this model right here. Because of my experience with Olatens, I've been, I, I've been really impressed. I don't know who does their knives for them, <clears throat> but whoever it is does a phenomenal job. Uh, uh, some companies could take some real cues from Olatens. First thing we see right off the get-go, there's no branding on the blade. It looks extremely clean. Uh, really well finished, really nice. <clears throat> we have this two uh, double dull ground here. <clears throat> I think this is a hollow that runs into a flat there. And then we have this flat area that runs into this swedge, so it really gives it this cool look. Nice drop point style blade. And then coming in 14C28N, which is a great steal given the price point of this knife. Now this is going to be a front flipper only, so it will be for the front flipper fans or for someone who wants to try out their first front flipper. And I think this uh, is going to be a good option. It's a good front flipper design. It feels really well tuned. Nice and snappy on the opening action. The closing action is going to be equally as good. This will make a good knife for you know someone to learn or practice on for front flipping. I know some people hate front flippers probably because they're not good at them. Uh, and I was in that spot once you know, initially, I, I, I wasn't a fan of front flippers. I think mainly because I wasn't that great at, you know, using the, the opening method. But as I, you know, tried them out more and more, bought more and more, where maybe it was incorporated with studs or a cutout or something like that, and I started to get better, and I started to experience better designed front flippers, uh, I, I started to really like them. Now, uh, depending on the knife, you know, something like this uh, for the price point, having it be just a, a front flipper only is perfectly fine with me. Uh, this is going to make a nice mid-sized knife. We do have, they're not completely flat. They are semi-contoured. They are G10. This one's Jade. They probably have a bunch of different flavors. Now, this is going to be right-hand carry only. We don't have mounting options for lefty on this particular model. Now, the clip is recessed there, but the screws are not. I would like to see uh, recessed screws there, and I'd like to see T8s all the way around. It looks like just the pivot is T8 only there. We'll go over more of that stuff in the overview, but not a huge deal on the hardware. Uh, that should go in and out of the pocket still relatively easy. Let's give it a look-see here with our issuing stitches, Hank. You might get a little bit of drag on those screws as it goes in the pocket, and that could prove to be an issue depending on the pants. But one thing I found with you know, you know, making the best out of the situation, uh, if you really like a given design and it does have kind of the mushroom head, if you will, they're not recessed, Sometimes that can aid in keeping the knife 
well controlled when it's in the pocket. Basically, they kind of give a little bit more retention up here because they're not recessed. And then you have the retention of the, you know, given part of the pocket clip. So you almost have an added point of retention, a double retention, if you will. The pocket clip is a nice design. We have that scoop up, that flail up, and then it dies off instantly. Like that design, it's nice and clean. It's not too long. I think that's a good size. That is perfect right there. Uh, Could have even been just a touch shorter, but then we're getting real nitpicky with it. This is a good size. We don't typically measure knives in the unboxing, but uh, I'm pretty interested in this one here. So we're looking at three inches of cutting edge, three and a quarter total, and then we're coming down to around seven and an eighth overall. So not quite a full size knife and definitely not a small knife. This is going to fall right in that mid-size area. A lot, a lot of people love three inch to 3.3 inch blades a lot of people really like that size i don't mind that size uh you know specifically talking about a secondary carry for me but uh i i've come a long way in i didn't really used to care for anything under you know 3.3 uh or or around in there uh, i wasn't a big fan of knives that small but i've I've made the turn, if you will, and uh, you know I, I've started to enjoy a lot of knives that are around that three inch mark. And trust me, there are a lot of good knives that are in or around you know three inches, maybe a little bit smaller. Typically, I don't like to go a whole lot smaller than that, but uh, I will if I really love the design. But uh, usually three to 3.3 i i'm a i become a big fan of especially as a secondary carry now this has a good edge on it if i can just shut up and cut the paper but yeah this has a nice nice clean edge on it and if you don't know 14c takes a very aggressive edge uh takes a keen edge and it's very easy to put an edge back on 14c uh, given the price point, I bet these will be right around 40 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. It is a brand new offering from Olatens, so it could be a little bit more initially, but I, I doubt it. I bet it's between 40 and 50 bucks, somewhere right around in there. And I think that's a, a solid price point uh, for the knife. I don't, like I said, I don't know who is doing the knives for Olatens. But whoever it is, is really doing them justice by putting out a very solid knife. It is centered up. There is no lashing of the detent. As far as pivot lash goes, there's no pivot lashing either. There's no movement there. And then when we do a soft open, it is locked up solid up and down and there's no movement side to side either and given the lock there we're looking at eh, i bet that's 35 percent or so somewhere right around in there so good solid lock up good internals there let's see how this thing fares against the spine whacker here good 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 couple of lighter wax this is not scientific but uh it's a good way to at least know if it can take some, you know, sudden burst to the spine. No, this is not testing it out to see if it can be your hammer. This is just making sure the lock is going to hold up because it is a locking knife. It is nice and solid. I like this thing. It kind of reminds me of a medium sized uh what is it uh well i guess the flipper tab's not quite the same i was gonna say it reminds me of a migron like a smaller migron uh acri but it's a little it's different the acri has a, a little different front flipper but this is a cool knife uh it's a clean looking knife i like the ergonomics it's very simple, very neutral, 
but a very solid uh, build. And I like what they did with the blade here. The little different things going on with it. Cuts well. Uh, I think we could get that edge even sharper. We have great, great access to that liner. Nice big chamfer on that liner as well. Very easy to disengage and get to that. And then nice, clean, smooth, controlled closing action. There is internal milling in there for weight relief. And we have a matching JG10 backspacer. Nice, clean design for sure. I will try to remember to link these down in the description. It'll be just through Amazon. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just so you can head over and check out what Olatens has. But uh, yeah, I think they're... They are three for three uh, in regards to the knives that I've checked out from them. You guys will have to let me know uh, based off the last two videos or two knives and this knife here. I think, uh, do you think Olatens is on to something? Because I sure as hell do. Whoever they have uh, OEMing for them is doing an extremely solid job. You guys will have to let me know what you think about this one. And if you remember, the crossbar lock and the button lock, uh, they were really well done as well. I'll try to link those videos in the description or up in a card so you can reference those videos as well. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it, everyone. It really pushes the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell if you have not already. We release videos just like this one every single day. I'd love to have you here. I'll throw up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.